uh, total army. We've got to issue this the active army, the guard and reserve, and that takes some time. 1.1 million soldiers on and across the total army, and it's going to take some time for production. And we also got to give soldiers time to be able to uh, receive that money in their clothing allowance so they can pay for that uniform prior to it being required, and that's going to happen. All the information based upon production and those things is, but it's going to be some time, you know, six to eight years possibly for full implementation um, throughout the Army once we start production. Um, and really the mark of that time will be based upon when the final decision is made to transition from the green uniform to the, I mean, from the blue uniform to the green uniform and basic transition. So what happens to the blue uniform? We're going to keep it. It's going to go back to our traditional dress uniform. So the green uniform will become the Army service uniform and then the blue uniform will go back to what it used to be, was the Army dress uniform. So those soldiers that currently have it can keep it. It'll still be uh, approved for wear for many years to come, and we have no intention um, to get rid of that um, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Thank you, sir.